Hey guys, so for our first day in Seattle, I'm super excited to be seeing my friends again. We're decided to get Happy Lemon. What's up, Jason? Yo, what's up, Jason? All right, so back to the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Code Ray. And on this channel, I help you to navigate and succeed in your tech career. So for today's video, we're gonna talk about the top five free online coding courses for learning Python. So with the rise of COVID forcing everyone to stay and work from home, online education is expected to rise by more than 300% in the near future. Therefore, this means that a lot of people will have more time in their daily lives to learn new things virtually. And one of the things that I highly recommend to learn virtually is to start with learning programming. Because I think that for programming, you can learn a lot of programming without a real teacher in front of you. And a lot of these hands-on activities you can do with your own computer online. Therefore, programming is such a great way to learn something new during COVID while getting the most impact out of it. Furthermore, with various industries now going into the tech age and needing people with technical skills, having a programming language on your resume is a great way to boost your career and also get you a job. With starting a programming language, I highly recommend starting with Python just because Python is such an easy language to learn for newcomers and it also has a lot of pre-built packages that allow you to basically do complex things very easily okay so there's a ton of different tools and courses out there to help you learn Python but I picked out my top five courses online for learning Python that I feel is the most intuitive and best for beginners but also intermediates who are currently going into programming or also software engineers who want to switch into programming who already know programming but just want to learn Python these are all for you to start off we have Introduction to Python Programming by Udemy. And this is an online course. It's a pretty quick online course, but it gives you a really great introduction to programming. There's a lot of certifications that you can actually get with different Python courses on Udemy, and this is not one of those courses. So with this free course, you can't really get a certification, but only with paid courses. So if you're not learning getting to get a certification and you want a quick start into Python programming, this course is really helpful to you. I really like this course because they have a community in which you can enter interact with. They have a particular teacher in which you can talk to and send messages to. And this particular course gives you a great video introduction into Python programming. So if you really want to basically do visual learning and you're a good visual learner, this course would be really helpful to you because it's someone sitting in front of you and teaching you how to do Python. But I think one of the things that I don't like about some of these online courses because sometimes you have to basically download your own IDE and you basically have to, for some languages, you have to do a lot of packaging and do a lot of things with a terminal that a lot of beginners can get frustrated with, but Python is super easy so you don't have to deal with all of that. But that's one of the things about this visual learning from like Udemy or Coursera is that it's pretty hard because um, a lot of people don't really know how to get started by importing all of the materials needed. Okay, the second form of learning for Python is a lot more casual, but I highly recommend learning Python or learning programming in general through YouTube videos. And the specific YouTube channel that I highly recommend learning Python with is called Programming with Mosh. And I highly recommend this course because a lot of times I get quite unmotivated when I listen to specific classes or specific instructors talking because um, they kind of talk a bit monotone and kind of gets boring sometimes because I'm just like, like trying to like sit on the couch and I'm trying to learn programming but they say the same things over and over again I get super confused so I have to like re rewind and basically like listen to them again and then over time I just get really bored with it but I think programming with Mosh he does it really well because he basically makes it super entertaining and it keeps you focused the whole time and give you a lot of examples and also projects that you can do and he goes over the code specifically with you and so you can basically have like a really good and strong understanding of Python after going through his course. He definitely provides his own unique way of teaching and I love how all the creators out there 
on YouTube provide their different ways of teaching because this is how they learn and they want to portray that to the community. So I highly recommend if you are going into like other areas of programming, including like mobile development or web development too, make sure to check out, just go to YouTube, check out anything that you want and they probably have really good people who uh, teach it better than anyone else can. Because I remember when I was in college, I basically felt that a lot of stuff that I learned in school was super confusing, especially the math. But then I went on YouTube and this one Indian dude taught it better than any of the teachers in my school could and I understand it way better. So I highly recommend YouTube as a learning source. Furthermore, we have learnpython.org. So I highly recommend this because it's super easy and intuitive. All you gotta do is go on learnpython.org and you just gotta go through all the exercises and the lessons they have. They don't have a really robust set of lessons, but they do have really good lessons. And one of the things that I like about it is that they have a Python shell or IDE online so that you can actually code directly next to the example that they give so you don't have to make your own. So everything's sort of in the same place in one place and I really like that because when I started off as a beginner it was really easy to just understand when everything was there. I like it also because they give a lot of good examples and even though it's not robust it gives a really clean and easy intro into Python that will allow you to basically code in Python for a lot of many different things in the future. But one of the things that I don't like about it is that they don't give you any specific large projects to do so you can't really do any of these projects to put on your resume but they have a lot of good examples that you can go into and you can really work into so I highly recommend that if you just want this quick intro and very interactive tutorial into Python I actually prefer many interactive tutorials when I learn programming because when I just do video programming um, it's really hard for me because like I watch the video and I'm like I think I understand that but I think in terms of programming it's really easy to basically forget once you learn a specific programming syntax and you really have to actually like go into it and program it yourself many times in order to understand it. I see that whenever I learn something, I actually forget it maybe like a month or two later, especially in programming. So I always have to refresh myself and that definitely is super important when it comes to learning Python as well. All right, additionally, we have the Codecademy Python course. Now, I highly recommend Codecademy, and it's one of the things that I've actually been using over time to learn many different things, including mobile development, web development, and Python. And also just to say that none of these things were sponsored. They were just all based on my personal experience. I really like Codecademy because it has a really robust set of instructions for to use. They have interactive tutorial that you can actually go through. They have an IDE online in which you can code Python online, and they actually check errors within each line for you. So I highly recommend it because I'm a personally like this huge I'm huge on interactive coding and I really like when they have something there for you in order to learn and I think their instructions are also very clear and you can do projects in them I really like the projects um, they allow you to basically do these huge projects and you can see how you can use Python into bigger projects including like when I just started it was hard for me to understand how I could put Python into other stuff like Django definitely after doing Codecademy courses I felt like I had a stronger grasp on the languages and specifically this Python programming course and this particular one is free but I know that there's a lot of courses on Codecademy that you can look into that are not free you actually need the pro version in order to do a lot of these uh, courses but they're higher level courses and if you start off as a programming or programmer or you want to get into programming you don't really need these specific courses so they're essentially just like um, paid courses that you don't really have to get so essentially you can just make a free account but if you want to get into it I also recommend those because they're really good courses as well finally we have one of the best Python courses for beginners and newcomers and I highly recommend this it's the Google developers Python course so when Google came out with something just to say I really love anything that Google comes out with because I feel like they're super clean and they make things super intuitive so when Google developers came out with this Python course I had to check it out Okay, so this course I really like because it's just super simple and super easy and they provide you with not only lecture videos to YouTube videos that specific Google engineers teach you Python programming. They also have lessons that have an interactive coding IDE. So this encompasses basically the interactive coding part, the lectures part, and also they have projects that you can work on, these specific exercises. They don't have any really big projects, which is a bummer, but you can always go through other stuff and try to learn Python programming on your own. So this is a good course in order to take a place along other courses with video courses 
courses in order to help you really understand Python. They also have other courses as well, including mobile development and some other studies that I highly recommend checking out too. Honestly, from the fonts to the lecture videos, I highly recommend anything that Google developers has made because it's how they learned and it's a specific Google engineers teaching you how to learn Python. But anyways, it's such a good tutorial and it's one of the things that helped me when I was a beginner. And yeah, so these are the five best free online coding courses that I can find that really helped me when I was starting off. And that will hopefully help you too if you're thinking about learning something new while in COVID because I know a lot of you are home and you're thinking of stuff, you're thinking of trying to do new things or something to do, but I highly recommend going through programming. And even if you're just like, you already know some programming, but you wanna get better at it, these courses really help you too because they help you learn the data structures and basics of Python so you can really get into those coding interviews. So if you have any questions about becoming a programmer or getting into programming, or even getting a job as well, put them in the comments below. Also, if you have any really good online courses that you really enjoy learning um, through, then please tell me in the comments below too because I want to check those out. I want to check out more of these online courses because I really think that, you know, online education is going to skyrocket in the near future and I want to be, you know, just part of that and try to give back to the community as well. So thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe and like for more videos.